Hi, this is Bob Mead, CEO and founder of IQ Agent, and here is an update on the upcoming IQ Agent for HoloLens. This is the first update, so let's jump right in. So you may know that IQ Agent is a mobile app that allows you to create points of interest in your plant or process area, and then we identify these with QR codes. So here's our configuration tool. We have our QR code, and then we have two views, an info view, which is your schematics, documents, forms, and we have data view, which is your OPC UA data or automation data from databases. And then we use an iPad to see this. So I'll show you my iPad. Okay, so here's the iPad. I'll launch IQ Agent, and then I can just scan the QR code right out of the configuration tool. And then you see that POI. So this is what you saw configured. And this is live data coming out of the PLC. We flip it over. Here's our schematics that we have. And then we can move these around and take a look at them. So that's the, that's the iPad, but we're here today to talk about the HoloLens and what does this look like on the HoloLens. So here I am on the HoloLens. I'll pull up the Windows Start menu and I'll expand and just launch IQ Agent. Put that on the wall and we'll wait for it to load. Okay, so IQ Agent is launched. And first, I need to check my configuration to make sure I'm talking to the IQ Agent server, which is going to supply us the process data. So I just speak configure. So there's my server IP address, my server port, data refresh, everything looks good. So I'll just click submit. And now I'm going to add a POI to this motor. So I'll just say new item. I'll select POI menu comes up I'm gonna select maintenance and incoming bank motor 2 which is gonna give me my POI and I'll expand that and there's the live process data coming for this motor um, I can put this POI anywhere I want and it will stay so I'll just say adjust and I'll just put it where I want it right on the motor. I can also change the size just by saying make bigger, make smaller, and when I'm done I'll just say done. So there's the POI and it's going to stay there and if I flip over to the info view then this is a list of all the links and schematics and things like that that I have for this motor so I can just click on one of these and open up a set of schematics and I can zoom in I can zoom out I can change my pages I can drag whatever I would like and just hit return so what if I just want to put a piece of data somewhere not an entire POI I could say new item and I'll pick data point and it's going to give me a dialogue where I enter a number. We're going to be working on this to make it more user friendly, but I just have to know the number of my data point right now. So I'll just choose data point number four, and that is my blowers. And then I can also adjust that and then just put it wherever I want and just hit done. So I could, I could stack little data points that are relevant to the sensors and stuff that they're near anywhere I want in the plant. So that's a quick look at IQ Agent HoloLens, a couple of notes. Uh, it does use the same IQ Agent server and configuration tool as iOS as well as the uh, Windows 10 Surface. Uh, it does get live data uh, as well as documents. We're still working on some in-document uh, things, limitations of UWP. Um, we don't use QR codes with a HoloLens simply because we can put POIs and data points, info points anywhere we want and they stick uh, using world anchors or the local map. And I'm going to be pushing out this dev kit to HoloLens users probably in April of this year, maybe late March. It just uh, depends on how much we get done. We're going to be making a lot of changes to the interface to make it look nice and clean. If you are interested in this, contact me at bob.meets at iQuestCorp.com or visit iqagent.com slash contact us for details. That's all I've got for today. Thanks. See you next time.